Hey, this is Paul Feuerstein, uh, technology editor of Dentistry Today, and I'm here with my good friend Mark Malterud. Mark, how you doing? I'm doing great, Paul. So, we're sitting in front of an interesting laser here. It's the Photana company's laser called Lightwalker ATS, if I'm not mistaken. It seems to do a lot of things, but I would like you to give me a lot of a rundown here, Mark, on what's going on here. The Photona laser is a phenomenal laser. It's a dual wavelength laser that you can utilize in your practice on a daily basis for hard tissue, soft tissue. You can be doing endo, perio, regular restorative work. Uh, there's the ability on that particular unit so that you can do root canals with it. And the root canals are using a a subablative energy. And that subablative energy means that you're below the level where it's cutting hard tissue, but you're actually using sound waves to go down through the tooth so that... Inside the canal, without ins damaging the inside of the canal. Inside the tooth, you're, what you're doing is flushing the canal out. You're taking everything out and you're using medicaments along with their PIPS technology, which allows those medicaments to really clean out three-dimensionally all the little canals and everything that's anastomosis. You know, when you look at a root canal three-dimensionally, there are so many little nooks and crannies and places, so when you're using a round file and you're in there filing, you're really not cleaning things because, out. Because they're so not the, perfectly round. We've been right. left to be there round. They're oblong shaped and all these different shapes. Absolutely, Paul. And so the PIPS technology allows you to three-dimensionally wow. clean these canals out and virtually sterilize those canals back so that when you fill it, you obturate that particular root canal you at that point in time have a much higher uh, success rate with you your said root this canal. Is a, you're calling this a dual wavelength, so I assume that this, it cuts hard tissue, it cuts soft tissue, so it's obviously not cutting hard tissue using the endo part of it, but so what, what about the hard tissue? I mean, how does well, that work? At higher energy levels, you can cut hard tissues, and it's very effective at cutting hard tissues. This particular unit has a, a digital pulse wave that allows it to cut more, much faster and it allows it to cut deeper and more comfortably on a patient without them feeling it. You can do this without anesthesia in some cases. A significant number of the cases that you do, you can do without anesthesia. So that must be fabulous for pedo. With pedo, it's phenomenal because the kids hear a little bit of a snapping sound and virtually they, they may feel a little bit of coldness on the tooth and that's essentially all that they're feeling. So there's no, no, no drill, there's no, nothing like that going on, so that's a, that's a really a terrific thing. Now, I know since you're talking about dual wavelengths, I know that there are some lasers that cut soft, cut soft tissue and then they debride soft tissue. Um, there's different YAGs with or NAGs or all these words, I don't know. What, how does this work in perio? I don't understand. In perio, one of the best uh, one of the best wavelengths to use in perio is a 1064 wavelength. The ND YAG or neodymium YAG laser cuts at a 1064. Its pulse wavelength is at 1064, which is one of the most effective ways of being able to to treat tissues in uh, periodontal situations. So you're, you're, so, so you're debriding the pockets with this. You're debriding the pockets. Uh, there are there are many things you can do with it. Uh, cleaning back around with the uh, if you're cleaning around a, a let's just say you're uncovering a implant. implant or working forward from there. The lasers allow you to do that and work around the implants without worrying about now, can, about can it be the used, uh, maybe a little little uh, elementary here, but can I be using this to do troughing if I needed to around a crown and bridge case? Absolutely, you can use it. If you're doing impressions for crown and bridge, uh, you can use this particular laser in either one, actually in either one of the, the wavelengths you can use to trough around the tooth. It has that capacity. So it's like one, one, one boot fits all. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it covers, it covers heart tissue, soft tissue, uh, things that diodes would do, things that uh, only soft, only heart tissue lasers would do, all in one, all in one Absolutely. unit. And this particular unit, you know, I, granted, I'm, I'm a little biased because I own a unit, but uh, <laughs> well, you, you own know, it because it does, you like what it does. I like what it does, and we get to use it daily in the practice. Boy, so it's important. Now, so for me, I need more information on something like this, and and. I can call you, of course, but everybody here can't call you. So if I needed more information, is there a website that they have that, that would have some of the details, some videos, and things like that? Absolutely. Uh, for information, you can go to photona.com, uh -huh. and that'll get you into their website and allow you to uh, get all of the... So that's Photona the, starting with an F-O-T-O-N-A, photona.com.